into the gap. Haaland has it. Haaland still. Haaland! Paul Foden heads it back and stones on the far. And Haaland! Number three. Now outside to Gomez. Inside Haaland! The epic rise of Erling Haaland has been breathtaking. From scrawny unknown kid to goal scoring monster, this is how it happened. Erling Haaland. They've drunk deeper and deeper. João Cancelo. Oh, that's a great ball. Oh, it had to be. It had to be. People think you have to be born with natural talent and physical attributes to be world class. And while it looks like Erling Haaland has these qualities in abundance, his rise to striking superpowers started far from the polished article we see today. Although many aren't aware of the difficult backstory we're about to share, he had one thing set him apart from the rest of the boys he played football with, determination and mental strength akin to Messi. Coupled with humility to accept his weaknesses and become better, it was a potent concoction. But wait, we now need to travel back in time to 2016. Burn. Erlin started playing for Burn FC age 15. Although he was the son of a former professional footballer, things didn't come easy to him. He loved the game, but he would often be bullied off of the ball because he was physically weaker than those around him. Not to be discouraged, what he lacked in physicality, he made up for in technical ability we're so familiar with today. Even back then, he was rattling the back of the net regularly. Former coach Gunnar Hale attributes his lack of physical assertiveness at an early age with the development of his technical abilities and how he is able to read the game. He always looking after his teammates. He's a guy who's well liked in the dressing room. Coaches and teammates throughout his life have often remarked that Erlen's temperament is fun and hard working both on and off the pitch with a ruthless determination to score more goals. This attitude has carried him throughout his career to the upper echelons of the sport. At 12, he was scoring for fun. And by 14 years old, he was playing against 18 year olds and running rings around them. He soon got called up to the under-15 Norway national squad, where his confidence grew and grew. He even scored from kickoff against Scandinavian rivals Sweden. Quickly, he outgrew Bern and signed for Mould to mark the start of his professional career. <laughs> He made his professional debut as a 16 year old for Mould, ironically under the former Manchester United legend and future manager Olga Nasolska. This is where Erling would start to develop physically, working hard in the gym to put on size, strength and stamina. His epic rise was about to kick off proper. He finished his first season with four goals, which was unusual for Erling, but started the next season by scoring four against the top of the league in an emphatic 4-0 win, which would have been a light bulb moment for players and spectators to recognise they were witnessing the birth of something very special. He scored 12 in 25 games. Next, he moved to Red Bull Salzburg in 2019. Salzburg. Haaland was not yet the monster that we now know him to be today, but this is where his development would start to take him on an unstoppable trajectory to the goal frenzies we are so familiar with. The Salzburg backroom staff had analysed him extensively before they signed him, noting that he had desirable qualities on the pitch, and would soon learn that he also had off-pitch acumen that would help him get to the next level. His teammate at the time, Maximilian Vogler, remarked that on trips away, instead of playing card games, he would read articles on how he could improve his sleep, diet and routine. Anything to gain an edge or percentile improvement towards his performance. As it turns out, 2019 would become a truly epic year for Erling. He scored nine, yes you heard me correctly, nine goals in an under 20 World Cup game against Honduras and was disappointed that he didn't get 10th. Here's the 
he would make his debut for a country where he scored 20 in 24 games. So he was given the chance to be the starting striker at Salzburg where he would score 28 in 22 games, including five hat-tricks. One of them coming in the first half of his Champions League debut versus Genk. By the end of 2019, Holland cemented himself as one of the premier young talents in European football, and as a result, he had big clubs such as Juventus, Manchester United, Chelsea and Dortmund battling to sign him. Solskjaer even flew to Salzburg personally to convince him to sign. Everyone at Salzburg knew that due to the spectacular performances he produced from July to December, the chances of keeping him were slim to none, leading to the next big twist on his journey, Dortmund. In strategic Holland fashion, he and his father thought carefully about his next move. Being at a team where youngsters were given playing time was important. They pledged his allegiance to Dortmund after they activated the release clause of 20 million euros and promised that he would be the first choice striker, which would be crucial towards his development. And bundled in eventually by Holland. It seemed that by having a plan, the Harlands knew the direction they wanted Erling's career to go. It maximised the opportunity to develop his skills, and by playing against seasoned professionals in the Bundesliga, he started to fully thrive and evolve into the monstrous talent we see today. In true Erling fashion, he started ferociously quick. A 22-minute hat-trick on his Dortmund debut as a substitute would be a sign of things to come. Mucha agua, aquí está calor. Over the course of his two and a half years in Germany, the gigantic Norwegian would go on to score 86 goals in 89 games. As well as on-the-pitch devastation, he brought the same intensity off-pitch by working on his speed and strength, evidenced by breaking the top speed record in the Bundesliga by running at 36.04 km a second. Michael Zork, former Dortmund sporting director, said that Erling was a formidable force that you could feel both on and off the pitch. Those physical attributes that he'd once lacked had developed and now allowed him to take advantage of his technical abilities. And his off-pitch mentality allowed him to transcend into stardom. In only two and a half years, Erling Haaland had developed the skills that every club in the world wanted in a sticker, and it was inevitable that the biggest club in the world would come knocking for him. Looking back, this epic rise was inevitable. Let's please welcome home a lifelong City fan, the most exciting talent in Europe. City, do number nine, Ellen Holland! And so he picked up where his father was forced to stop at Manchester City. And when they activated a £51 million release clause, the time had come to say farewell to the yellow wall of Dortmund and welcome to the sky blue city. He arrived at the Etihad with not only the expectations of new fans, teammates, his family and himself, but that of a new set of pundits. One pundit in particular, Roy Jennings, doubted that Haaland would live up to his expectations, saying that he'll have a really good season if he scores 15 goals. Now, we're not even 10 games into the season and Haaland has already scored 15 goals. In fact, he's broken a number of scoring records not only for City, but for the Premiership and Champions League too. The first player to score a hat-trick in three consecutive games, the most goals scored in 10 Premier League games, bearing in mind he's only played nine. The first City player to score on his debut in both the Premier League and the Champions League. The most Champions League goals after 30 games and he scored 28 in 22 games. So he's got eight games to increase that lead ahead of Van Nisselrooy. Any doubts from pundits and football fans alike have been thoroughly put to bed. But this is only the start of his reign of terror against Premier League goalkeepers and defenders alike. Erling Haaland has a footballing world at a standstill. With the potential to win the Balloon Deal multiple times over, undoubtedly there will be duels between himself and Mbappe for the footballing crown, similar to the Messi v Ronaldo rivalry. Haaland has surpassed Mbappe in becoming the youngest player to score 25 in the Champions League, and so it seems the battle has already commenced. It may seem like an overnight success, but Erling Haaland has shown us that work ethic, humility and determination mean that records are just arbitrary statistics that are there to be broken. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe.